Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 17th of 2020. Well, it is titled the changing surface of fading Betelgeuse. So what do we see here? Well, this is two images taken of the star Betelgeuse last year, and one in January and one in December. And we can see from the surface how it has changed. Now Betelgeuse is an unusual star in that we can actually see its surface at least barely. And that is because it is such a large star. And it is so close to us. So being a relatively nearby star, and about 700 light years away, and being uh, such a large star that would fill a large chunk of our solar system were it in our solar system, then it's actually able to see it as a slight disk through very, very large telescopes. For most stars, all we see are points of light. And here we can see some of the differences between it or that it changed over the course of the year. And what we know is that Betelgeuse has been fading and getting fainter and fainter. As we can see in this image here, one of our photos of the day from January, where we can see Betelgeuse and compared to Rigel, uh, the other star labeled, it is very hard to very easy to tell that it is much fainter. Normally Betelgeuse and Rigel are comparable in brightness. But now we can see that Betelgeuse is significantly fainter. And here it seems that a large portion of it is much fainter than it than it would normally be the lower portion here. And could that be due to some structures with inside as the stars as the star pulsates and gets larger and smaller? Could it be that some material is being ejected from the star as a precursor to a supernova? That material is then further away and blocking out some of the star's light. And it's one of those things that we will not know until it actually happens. Betelgeuse is the type of star that we expect to go supernova or explode at the end of its life. However, that could very could be in the near future. But near future to an astronomer can be tens of thousands of years. So it could be a long time before it gets down to that point where it collapses and explodes. And the thing is, we simply cannot tell exactly how close it is to that stage. We know that it's getting there, but it could be thousands of years away or it could be much closer. We just have no way of telling. Now a supernova is one of the most massive explosions we can possibly imagine. And were a supernova to go off close enough to us, it could actually cause extinction level events here on the Earth. Now that is not the case with Betelgeuse being 700 light years away, even though it's nearby in terms of our galaxy, it is not close enough to cause that kind of damage. So were Betelgeuse only uh, 50 or 100 light years away, we would be in far more danger of it going supernova. In this case, it will just give us when it does decide to explode, it will give us a very bright star in the constellation of Orion. In fact, so bright that it could likely be visible during the day. So that was our picture of the day for February the 17th of 2020. It was titled The Changing Surface of Fading Betelgeuse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Hunter Stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.